Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Tuesday. Oh crap. Okay, so these are the new mugs from the Universe Knows, which if you watched my last video, you know what I'm talking about. Well, this is hot. Today's message is embrace the moment. Here's the funniest thing about my coffee, by the way. Oh, and for those of you who are digging these, I knew everybody would love this company as much as I did. I'm obsessed with them, obviously. Um, but if you are going to their website, which is just theuniverseknows.com, if you make a purchase and you use Fitfluential, F-I-T-F-L-U-E-N-T-I-A-L, you will get 10% off your first order. That's how Mama Kelly takes care of her people. Oh, oh, anyway, funny thing I was going to tell you about my coffee is y'all know how I'm making it right, you know, my my own little, it started off as a paleo version, I don't know how paleo it is now because I do put a dash of, ooh, look at that, real cream, heavy whipping cream, put one about one tablespoon in. I don't really measure anymore, so I put a, about a tablespoon in, I drink one cup like this. And you could probably see that. Well, I'm glad you can't see my messy counter back there. Um, but then I'll like add some more coffee to it and then just a splash more cream. So I probably have a tablespoon and a half, whatever. One or two tablespoons. And I'm using Jay, my first trainer when I was down at Boca, told me about this My Fitness Pal app. Sing it, 50. Oh, sorry, 50. I sound like a dork when I say it that way. I sound like a dork pretty much everything I say. Um, but anyway, you can put your, um, your, your goals in there, your weight, and then I love it because, well, like, let me show you yesterday. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Um, up at the top, it says, so my goal is, um, I hope that's right. After, after eating your calories and burning, 1,200, I forget how we put that in there, but I eat more than 1,200 calories, trust me. Um, now yesterday I had a low day, so I don't know if you can see this. So it says, here's your goal, and then the next one over it says, like where you are right then, I was at 1,262 calories, exercise burned 800 calories, so I was at net 453. That technically means I could have eaten another, so I think it has me uh, I could have had another 757 calories. Yesterday, I did not eat as much as I should, which is not good. It was not planned. I've just gotten back from my trip. Um, it's where I suck the most. That's why Michael stopped by and um, brought me my groceries. How lucky am I? Um, seriously, though, I never go to the grocery store. And he's like, you need to go to the grocery store. And I'm like, I really don't feel like going to the grocery store. And he's like, you need to go. And I'm like, it's kind of my passive aggressive way of going, why don't you offer to go for me? <laughs> I'm so much trouble if you watch this. Um, anyway, so have a lot of have a lot of stuff to tell you. Back to my coffee thing, because I almost choked on my cinnamon. <laughs> Two things. So what I put in my coffee right now is a little bit of coconut oil <clears throat> and cinnamon. And then I add a splash of this, which was a, a something I added later. But here's what's funny. There was one day um, I had something and I had Splenda out. Oh, craziness! Yes, I use Splenda occasionally. And I thought I would put Splenda, I think it was the day I had, my stomach was upset and I wanted like sweet coffee. So when I put my Splenda in here, like right now there's no sugar, there's nothing in here. I actually think it makes it taste worse to put sugar in here. Anyway, I'm just throwing that out there. The other thing too, here's a little helpful tip for you. If you're making coffee the way that I make it right now, um, just remember that there's cinnamon in here. I have this bad habit of, I love this song. Um, I have this really bad habit of getting to the end of my coffee and then I, I have another call coming up. Um, I'll be sipping on my coffee in my office and it'll be, you know, like there's a little bit left and I have a call coming up and so I'll drink it and the thing is is there's a residue of cinnamon at the bottom 
Sam is very drying on your throat. Don't test this out. Apparently this is a trend on YouTube. But um, I can't tell you how many times I've been on a call and I ha it's so embarrassing because I will literally get cinnamon stuck in the back of my throat and I'm like <coughs> and I have to say to the people, these poor people, I remember the last one, there was three or four people on a conference call, and I'm like, I need to go cough, I'm gonna call you back. Because I was like, <coughs> it was disgusting. Remember that there's dry cinnamon in your, in your cheers, in your coffee. Anyway, uh, you missed it, I just recorded. I did um, my cardio this morning. I burned about 475, if I'm correct. But um, my theme this morning, I'm going to try to focus on themes in my vlogs so I can actually stick to a point, even though I'm six minutes in and I've just been rambling about a whole bunch of nothing, as usual. Um, I just got back from Vegas, had a, had a great week in Vegas. I was out there for URSA, which stands for International, I keep saying International Hotel, International Health and Racket Club, Racquetball Sports Association. So it was a fitness show. Um, and um, really, really great show. I'm gonna have some highlights for you because I was walking around that show seeing all the new equipment and stuff that's coming out. Here we go. So um, we'll do a write-up on Fitfluential and you'll also see that on, on my blog with um, some pictures as well. But I also did a little shopping while I was in Vegas. It's really funny that I've been at this phase I think I've mentioned this before. I really need new clothes. I have plenty of workout clothes, but a girl can't live in workout clothes, and I'm suddenly starting to realize that my closet is filled with either, now this is good, stuff that doesn't fit me because I've lost weight. So like my, my pants that I bought for business, everything that I bought when I first, I keep saying when I got perimenopause, but when all that happened and I gained weight, um, none of that stuff fits me. I mean, it's beyond falling off. There's no way I can wear it. Um, so I'm back in pants that I haven't worn in, in two years. I'm pretty much close to being able to wear my jeans, my favorite Levi's, um, although I want to get some really nice jeans. But all that said, <laughs> we went to go out to eat. Um, were we going out to eat or to a movie? I don't remember. But anyway, damn crow! Um, I hate crows. It's like that movie, The Crow. Um, why is this on my seat? My iPod on my running track. It's just kind of depressing. Um, yes, to, to those of you that wrote to me yesterday and said, are you ADD? Apparently so. Was I making a point? I already have forgotten the several, oh, the clothes. I'm really in a, really, my, my closet is, is in a state of like, feed me. I have nothing in here for you. I've got like, you know, business, really dressy. I've got dresses. I've got tons of workout stuff. But um, I also, one of the things that I had to get rid of when I cleaned out my closet, my sister was very happy about this, is because my body temperature got even more hot. Um, I, I just, I can't wear things with long sleeves. I can't wear heavy sweaters. Even in the midst of winter, people, I will go outside in a tank top and be like, wow, it's hot out here. And everyone's like, what's wrong with her? By the way, you guys have all been writing, so I haven't been, I haven't been flexing, so there you go. And I'm going to get to a little arm demo for you in a second. And we'll be shooting some videos at the gym. I have to go to Baltimore this week now, so it'll probably be maybe next week. But uh, Michael has said that we will do that, so stay tuned. I know you're all excited. What was my point? Anyway, so I did some shopping in Vegas. One of the items I bought was this hat. Now, here's the thing. I get so much good stuff. It, I can't stand this. I just don't want to hear this song right now. It's just a little bit too. Ooh, it's Joe Jet. Many of you children weren't even alive when this was a cool song. Of course, I was probably in fifth grade. Anyway. So I get a lot of cool stuff at the airport, but Vegas has no shortage of things like this with sparkly things on it that I like. So I had to get this hat. I got this at the airport and I also found something. I have been looking for cool cargo pants for girls that don't look like, oh, these are a pair of pants with one extra pocket on the side and we're gonna call it cargo pants. Cargo pants are supposed to look like cargo pants and they are supposed to be 
camo. So these, as you can see, they actually have stuff on it and all kinds of pockets and they look old, which they're supposed to look. Cute, right? And guess what? Like, I'm telling you, I would have probably sold my life for these. They were $36. That's obscene. I have to look up this brand and see if they have more stuff. It's um, Premium Tell Surplus. That's the name of the brand. So, uh, wait a second. Tell must be the brand. Um, so they had all kinds of cute stuff at the store and I didn't have a lot of time so I bought cargo, I'm just so excited. So if anybody knows of a great place that has cargo pants that aren't like, like I used to shop a lot at Victoria's Secret, not anymore for a while and I explained that in another rant. Um, but they, if they had cargo pants, it's like they put one little pocket on and then they make them fit really, really tight. Cargo pants are not supposed to fit tight, okay? I also don't like really tight pants. Um, anyway, the other thing is too, oh shoot, I can't show you really. Um, today when I worked out, I worked out in the new um, Reebok, so maybe I'm just going to take it off. Sublight. Ah! Aren't these sexy? I love, see the pattern? It's like, I don't know what you call that, but it's very cool. These are, these shoes are so light. Um, now, you guys know that the thing that I like in shoes, I'm trying to think, I think they might have designed this for running, I'm gonna have to check. But you know, I use shoes for kind of everything now. I mix and match, I'm crazy like that. Um, this is sublight foam. But here's the thing, so it's really, really light. Um, the thing that I like, this is a personal thing, because I've told you guys about in the past, with Reebok shoes, um, a lot of their real flex shoes I found that I was like the only one out of me and all my fit Fluential ambassadors that are, you know, rating the shoes. They were all like loving the real flex. I didn't care for it as much for how I love how they look. I didn't like how they felt on my shoes because on my feet because I felt like I had a lot of is it lateral side to side movement um, and just I really like my feet to feel like I put them in a shoe and they're kind of like locked in and and I feel like I, I really like a solid base not as much movement that's totally like a personal thing that doesn't mean that the shoes suck it just means if you're like me and you like that whatever this has a much more solid bottom even though it's really really light so I worked out in this today I did turbo fire um, and it was um, so I really like these um, so my favorite out of all of the uh, Reebok shoes are, I like these, I like, I love the Zigs. I'm obsessed with them. In fact, I'm ordering some new ones that are apparently an older model. Um, so I really love the Zigs. I really love the, there's like a Real Flex Excite or something. Anyway, I'll put a link up to it. But anyway, the other thing I bought in Vegas. These shoes called out to me in Fredericks of Hollywood and there was no way in hell that I was not buying these. Seriously. I want to eat them. Oh, they had that new shoe smell. It's Kiss Couture. Let me tell you something. I walked in Fredericks and about like heard the angels sing. It was like when I walked into um, Starbucks, you know, and you smell the coffee. There's certain stores, Pottery Barn, Williams Sonoma to some degree, Starbucks and Fredericks of Hollywood. I'm annoyed with Victoria's Secret. All you have to need, all you have to do is, if you want to know what I'm really annoyed with Victoria's Secret for, is um, long story short, they think it's a brilliant idea to start marketing their sexy lingerie to 15-year-old girls and encourage them to look older and wear panties that say like "feeling lucky." Seriously, I mean, I'm not even there. I just, I'm like. So I'll be doing a lot more shopping at Fredericks because um, I like nice under things and I certainly like nice shoes and they have a lot of those. So I was very happy with my purchases in Vegas. The, sh the week was very good. I worked out every day, did my cardio. I also will tell you this. Let me turn the radio down. Because um, it's just a little bit louder than I remember. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys something because a lot of you ask, you know, and we're gonna do some more videos on this. Um, 
it'll be up on the Fit Financial channel about you know traveling and, and staying fit on the road. But I gotta tell you people, sometimes don't underestimate how creative you can be. And and that's something that so many people are, I think they're a little lazy. They're like, show me how to do everything, show me how to eat. I don't want to figure anything out on my own. Trust yourself and, and do some research, look at some videos, figure out some stuff on your own, and then you can get really creative on your own. You don't always have to have somebody showing you. Just spit on myself, exactly what to do. I brought these out. These are not the ones I have packed in my suitcase. And in fact, I gotta tell you, I don't know what this is. I don't know why that's on there. Anyway, I always, whenever I travel, I always pack, um, I have a red, a pair of red bands. I guess it's not a pair. Red resistance bands. I have my valve slides. I have my valve bands. Um, I pack my TRX or my Lifeline USA, which is new. Um, pack one of those. And then I've got, you know, a bunch of workout DVDs. So even if the hotel doesn't have a gym, I'm set. I can do something really good in my room. Now, that said, I have to be honest, you know, I got home this week and I'm like, I told Michael, I really need to hit the weights hard this week because I didn't go to the hotel gym at the Luxor, um, partially because, you know, I, when I wanted to go hit the weights was at night and that's when like, you know, to get down to that floor, it was like you have to walk by all of these areas. And I just didn't feel like walking by all these areas with these drunk people smoking. I really need to shut up very soon. We're hitting 20 minutes. But anyway, one of the things I wanted to tell you is there was this one night and I just, there's many nights like this, people. Don't think that just because I'm kind of on a roll that I always feel like working out. I have to convince myself just like anybody else. And that's all about those mental, it's all in your head. This is where the battle is. You have the capability to do whatever you want. You just have to get over this part in your head. I almost poked my eye out. Anyway, there was this one night and I started doing my cardio in the room and I was like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. And I was really, you know, bad Kelly was starting to peek in and go, just forget it, you've been, you've been good all week, you haven't eaten a lot today, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what, again, you have to be willing to recognize when those bad thoughts come in and also recognize, like I do, that the reason that I've lost 15 pounds, the reason that so far, and I'm not even at my goal yet, but the reason that I've gotten where I am is specifically because I started talking myself out of those types of thoughts. Because those are the types of thoughts that I gave into for two years, thinking, it's no big deal, it's not gonna matter, whatever, get over it. So that night, I had started my cardio and I was just, my I think I was a little bloated from some sushi or something, and I didn't feel like doing any jumping. So I grabbed my bands and I'm like, I'll just do some stuff. And I didn't even have a plan, which is, Usually not good. What I'm telling you is, you guys sometimes have been asking me a lot like what I'm doing for my arms. Here's what I'm gonna show you. Okay, so all I'm doing really quickly, this is, for those of you that don't have it, just a really simple resistance band with this stupid black thing on it. I'm gonna put my feet at the bottom here and step on it, okay? Which is pretty typical. Now this is a very uh, lighter resistance band, but so I have it, I have both of my feet standing on it, and I'm just gonna show you, like, I, I literally just sat in my room, stood, excuse me, and I had myself in front of the mirror, and I started going, okay, let's just do stuff for the arms. Let's do, like, a superset for the arms. So, let's look at all of the things that I can do, and I'm just gonna totally, I've made, I'm making this up just like I did that night. But you can do upright rows. So you've got resistance coming up, you've got resistance coming down, Okay, then once you have your hands up here, it's almost like a um, side delt raise. Hold on, if I can do this right. Up, up. Now, the thing you've got to remember, just like with weights, with this, everybody can have the tendency, and I certainly do, to start going like that, because you'll get tired. You really need to just only be moving this, because if you're doing this, you're gonna hurt your back, you're gonna hurt anything. So, upright row. Do upright row, and then go into 10. See, I'm already out of breath again. 15 of these. Then you can stop, I don't know if you can see this. Bicep curls, one at a time. You can do bicep curls forward, right? Out to the side. And then the other thing, this is one of the things that I learned ages and ages and ages ago on a Billy Blank CD. I think he had bands, but he was doing this, where you push up, <sighs> okay? Let me tell you, I have one of the lightest bands on. If you want to make it easier, 
get your feet closer together. Well, I, I promise I'll shoot these on video so you can actually see what I'm doing. But you push up as if you're, I don't even know, as if you're pushing something, a shelf up off of you. <laughs> Makes no sense. But you push, so you're using, I'll have, I'd have to have somebody else who's actually a trainer say this. You know, you're using your shoulders and your biceps to push it up, okay? Let me tell you, that's killer. Oh, remember this song? Um, and then the, one of the other things I did, you can, you might not be able to see this as much, but then you cross the bands. Can you see how I have them? You can't. I have them crossed over, and then you can do side lateral raises, right? So again, adjust your posture, but, and again, make sure you're not going like this. Um, it always helps when you're doing your side raises to lean over to the side a little bit, okay? Make sure you're going up slow and down slow. You see that? Let me tell you, I think sometimes this can be harder and that's why you have to be careful. It doesn't mean you always have to go heavy to get, I'm at 21 minutes, I really need to stop. Now I still have these bands crossed down below and then I was doing this. Okay, this is more, I'm guessing, like a rear delt thing. I'm not a trainer, I'm just telling you what I made up. And again, you can see I'm not going fast, so I'm making sure that I'm being careful with my form and my body. But you see how, and do you see that I'm out of breath? I'm just showing you some examples. And then you could just hold them up here and, and press back. Make sure you have your, that you push down with your shoulders, because otherwise you can get your hunching. You see what I'm saying? Um, then the other thing I started to do, this was random. I don't, I'm going to show Michael and he can tell me what this, what I'm working. Or you might look at it like Jay did and go, what are you doing? Um, this is pretty tight. I also took each one and I was going like that. Oh, that's harder on one side. You see? And again, don't go like that. That's with your back. See how I'm not moving? So that's another way to do front raise front raise, bicep, uh, tricep is obviously very easy to lean over. But that's about like, what, 15 different things I just showed you with that? And I just kept going and going and going. I'm at 22 minutes, I really need to shut up. Um, but I'm just saying, like, learn how to get creative. Um, maybe I'll do another vlog. I should shoot two vlogs at once. So I'm gonna shut up and start over.